Hi all, welcome in the AWS Solution Architect Certification Exam Dump. I am Prasant Thakre. So today I am going to cover a good question which is having uh, AWS concept of auto scaling ELBs uh, as well as how we are doing the recovery. So this question I found like that most uh, confusing question and it is difficult to find out the correct answer. So let's jump on the question. So question says a web application runs on 10 EC2 instances launched from a single customer AM, uh, AMI. The EC2 instances are behind an internet application load balancer and there is a route 53 to provide the DNS. So uh, just mark the hint on the question. So there are the 10 EC2 instances. So you can say like that this is the desired capacity. So 10 EC2 instance must be running always and uh, this is getting spin up by using the AMI. The EC2 instance are behind the ELBs, so just mark it, the ELB part. Amazon Route 53 provide the DNS, so this is the uh, basic concept of Route 53 that it provide the DNS to the user. So I'm not um, highlighting it because I don't think it is uh, relevant. Uh, the main thing is like that we need to keep it up 10 EC2 instance always up. So let's try to visualize the question. So there is a route 53, there is a ELB and these are the 10 EC2 instances. So ELB is doing the load balancing task and route 53 is providing the DNS information. So other part of the question is that how should a solution architect auto uh, architect automate recovery when a web server instance stop replying the request. So there is a concept of auto recovery so i am highlighting it so let's jump on the options so first option is that launch the instance in an auto scaling group with an elastic load balancing health check so yes elastic load balancing is useful to do the health check and uh, with the help of auto scaling group it is possible that if one instance is not responding properly then we can spin up the another EC2 instances and uh, it will be up and running and again it will be configured with the ELB so that new requests are coming it will directly point to that EC2 instance which are which is newly spinned up by the auto scaling. So this is a correct answer but let's jump on the other option. Launch is launch instances in multiple availability zone and set the load balancer to multi availability zone. So it will increase the availability, but question is asking about that how we can do the automate recovery. So this is not the correct answer because here uh, it is not talking at all about the auto scaling. So even though if we are able to launch it into the multiple availability zone. If any EC2 instance is going down, we will not be able to recover without having auto scaling. So it is a wrong option. Go to C, add CloudWatch alarm action for each instance to restart if the status checks fail. So yes, that is true that with the help of uh, CloudWatch alarm, we can try to reboot the application. But uh, here the thing is like that it is already mentioned like the 10 EC2 instances up and running and it is spinned up by using an MI. So here CloudWatch alarm can try to reboot it but uh, there is a problem with the CloudWatch alarm that it cannot be useful for the system uh, level check. It will be only available for the instance available check. So that is not the correct answer so I will mark it as wrong. Last is the add route 53 record for each instance with an instance health check. So that is the wrong answer because if any uh, health check is going to down, uh, if EC2 instance is down, uh, route 53 cannot reboot it. It cannot have the ability to do the automate recovery. So the A option is correct, but let's jump on the more detail about that, uh, what question is trying to say and what are the pros and cons using the ELBs are using the CloudWatch alarm and knowing about the capabilities and limitations. So this is the benefit of auto scaling, better fault tolerance. It can detect when instance is unhealthy. So there is the first point. It can terminate it and launch the EC, launch an instance to replace it. So always we are having the 10 EC2 instance because if one got terminate, it will replace by the another one and it will use the same uh, Amazon image machine image better availability 
it ensures that your application always has the right amount of capacity to handle the current traffic so here we mention about the 10 so it will remain 10 as 10 as we are saying the desired capacity is 10 and uh, any uh, health check is going to fail then it will spin up the new instance uh, this is the additional detail about that the benefits of auto scaling like better cost management and uh, no additional charge so just uh, note it down that we are you if you are using auto scaling there is no any additional charge of it even though if you are uh, setting up the policies and configuration there is no additional charge it will charge only for the instances usage not charging on the auto scaling configuration service so this is the most important uh, benefits and it is going to help you if uh, such kind of question is coming and yes of course it is a better cost management it will add and remove the resource as per requirement basis no need to pay extra money when it is not in use so for an example if suppose you are uh, going for the desired capacity 5 and if you want to auto scale for 20 if the traffic is very high then automatically uh, the auto scaling will increase we spin up the 15 more new instances and uh, it will ELB will help you to redirect the traffic and uh, when uh, there is no any traffic then it will scale down so it will reach to the 5 so if it is in use then only you have to pay the money for 15 extra instances if not then you are not paying it all and other part is like that it is the completely managed service so there is no any manual effort is required uh, there is a limitation and functionality of the ELB if suppose uh, ELB is uh, uh, interacting with the one EC2 instance sending a traffic then meanwhile it is also continuously doing the health check if health check is fail then it will stop uh, uh, sending the request uh, into this EC2 instance but it cannot reboot or it cannot restart or it cannot uh, uh, re-spin up a new EC2 instance so ELB having a limitation that it can do the health check but it cannot restart or it cannot create the new ac2 instances for that we need auto scaling so this is the more detail about the auto scaling like uh, there is a launch configuration so we should have the ami which we discussed in the question and the what is the name of that launch configuration instances type key pair user data security group and the im rule then the next is the auto scaling group where we need to provide the launch configuration as well as you can do the auto scaling group for the multi availability zone mean max capacity so here i explain about that uh, if suppose you are you need the 20 max you should not you don't want to go for more than 20 even the traffic is very high so you can control it by using the mean and max capacity and this is the desired capacity where, where i mention like that desired i need five and uh, there is uh, yes of course you need to provide the information about the load balancer because auto scaling works along with the uh, load balancer and uh, there is a matrix health check where you can configure how you want to do the health check health check is based on based, based on your application it is continuously throwing the error of course then uh, you can have a, a configuration with the auto scaling group and it will uh, terminate that instance and will spin up the new instance then there is an scheduled action scheduled action help to define the rules to perform the scaling action at a certain time in the future which i just discussed uh, by including the matrix health check then there is a auto scaling uh, sorry for the typos auto scaling policies the auto scaling policy helps define rules for dynamically increasing and decreasing the ac2 instances count which I just discussed here that dynamically it is increasing to 20 where you are saying that 20 is my max instances I don't want to go for more than that and uh, 5 is like that I want to if there is no any traffic then reduce it to the 5 instances and this is the complete picture to uh, solve the question and finding out the correct answer that you are having ELB ELB is continuously doing the health check and uh, if suppose there is a C2 instance health check is fail at that time cloudwatch uh, is very 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 useful because it is keep on collecting the matrix and it will set, send it to the cloudwatch alarm and uh, alarm connection will be here alarm will be connected to scaling policies on the basis of that is alarm auto scaling uh, policies will take a decision and it will uh, trigger one event where the new ec2 instance will be spinned up 
um, and the old one will be get terminated or you can say like that first it will terminate this ec2 instance and it will spin up the new ec2 instance and it will use the same emi whatever you have mentioned it here so if you will go to the question again so this is the correct answer so there is no confusion at all but if uh, there is concepts are not clear about that uh, limitations of elb limitations of route 53 and uh, limitations of cloudwatch alarm as well because cloudwatch alarm without uh, auto scaling group cannot do the instance health check it uh, it is not useful at all it is useful only for the system health check so this is all from my side thanks a lot